Hi and welcome back to this tutorial on how to write a string quartet. Now um, I think in my last recording you couldn't really hear the music so I'm just going to start it off by playing from the um, start of the second subject and um, we'll go from there. Okay, so um, we're just going to fill in these parts here. In the cello, it could mirror what's going on in the first violin. Um, so let's just fill out this chord here. Okay. Um, so it's just an E flat first inversion chord there. So we've got these semi quaver runs up here. We can answer those back or mirror them. Um, maybe doing something like this. And I don't see why we can't just have okay, and then in this um in this part of the viola, we're gonna have a's there, okay, so we've got a nice um f chord there as we go back into the I think I said in the last video we're going to just repeat the uh, the start of the second subject again, and then prolong this um, this part where we're moving into G minor. Um, so oh, we need to just fill this part in. So let's just have it'd be nice if we've because we've got this pattern of runs, so two two quavers, semi quavers, two quavers, four semi quavers there, to have something similar. So we've got the semi quavers on the second beat and the fourth beat. Um, so let's try that. We can put an E in here. So we could do a run down here. So we've got a nice bit of symmetry going on there. Um, yeah, okay. So I think that's fine. And. Um, Let's just have a listen from here. Okay, that's good. Now, um, so we're going back into this. Just going to put this in and see. So we've got a, a semitone, rising semitone here. We could do the same with this. So if we hold this on, we can just mirror that pattern that's coming up. So it kind of preempt it um, by having this and then a semitone higher. So it's got a semitone rise. I think that's good sort of cohesion there. Um, so basically, we're back in repeat to repeat the second subject here. Um, and just before we go into into G minor, so let's just repeat that. Now here we could um, just rather than having a note for note repeat, we could. Um, make it a bit more interesting by having some kind of different uh, um, different goings on in the other parts so so for example we've got this kind of um, I don't know what you call it really kind of a octave leap quaver pattern um, <laughs> um, 
so we could have something like that. Um, so. Maybe just off the beat there. And then as we're going up from... So we're going from first inversion on the tonic to the fourth chord. So we could spell that out explicitly in the harmony here. So let's go. And... So let's do similarly in the other parts. So just copy that uh, rhythmic figure over. And similarly for the second violin. We could, in fact, um, instead of the violin, the first violin, but having the, the top line here, we could give the violin two a bit of uh, a bit of a roll here. So we could have it actually extending over violin one, and then also the viola could. Um, kind of stretch itself here as well. So we've got two E flats in the cello and the violin and the viola, sorry. Extent it separated by an octave and then we've got the G and the B flat. The B flat is higher than that G there. So that might work well. Let's have a quick listen to it. I think that's probably alright. So we could just keep this the same here, but maybe we should um, mirror this um, octave leaping quaver pattern as well here. So let's just do something easy. So if we've got the cello doing this octave leap of an F on an F here, we could have something in the second violin, which kind of preempts that and mirrors it. So it goes up, this comes down. And apart from that leap of viola, pretty much the same. So let's just check that. Okay, I think that's fine. So what we'll do next time is we'll do something similar um, when we're on the dominant seventh here, and we'll do something similar as we did back here. Okay, where we're kind of the violin two overreaches violin one. Um, so let's do that next time. And um, if you like these these videos, please do subscribe and um, comment and like and all that kind of stuff and if you want me to cover anything else please let me know okay see you soon